This question asks you to explore self-composite linear functions of the form f of x is mx plus c for varying values of m. A function composed with itself is called a self-composite function. For a function f, the function composition with itself is given by this. Let fn denotes the nth composition of f with itself where fn of x is equal to this. For example, f3 of x is equal to f of f of f of x. Consider the linear function f of x is mx plus c. Question ai shows that f2 of x is equal to this. So f2 of x, it's what f of f of x. It's a usual composite function and uh, how it works when it substitutes this for x into the expression for f. So when it substitute mx plus c for x into mx plus c. So it becomes m times mx plus c. Plus c, which is m squared times x plus mc plus c, which is m squared times x plus c times 1 plus m as required. The next f3 of x f3 of x it's what f of f of f of x but this is f2 of x so it becomes f of f2 and it means what we substitute f2 of x for x into f so we need substitute this or this for x into mx plus c so it becomes m times i will use this m squared times x plus mc plus c plus c and it is equal to m cubed times x plus m squared times c plus mc plus c which is m cubed times x plus c times 1 plus m plus m squared the next bi write down an expression for for f4 of x one mark so you can guess that it's m to the power of 4 times x plus c times 1 plus m plus m squared plus m cubed and we can guess that in general the next question suggests a similar expression for f n of x. So in general, it's m to the power of n times x plus c times 1 plus m plus m squared plus m plus so on up to, you can see that for example, f3 and m squared. So up to m to the power of n minus 1 by using uh, uh, your expression for bii is this or otherwise find expression in terms of n for f n of x when m is 1 so when m is 1 f n of x is equal to 1 to the power of n times x plus c times 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1 squared plus so on up to 1 to the power n minus 1 and you can see that there are n terms in total 1 times n hence it becomes x plus n times c the next Question C for M, which is not 1, use mathematical induction to prove that Fn of x is equal to this. It's not required here, but uh, you can uh, uh, guess that it arises from what? From a geometric uh, sequence uh, because, or, or series, because uh, there is a common ratio, which is M for this. So, as usual, for N is 1 and it's positive integer so for n is 1 
f one of x becomes m to the power one times x plus c times one minus m to the power one over one minus m which is mx plus c and it's uh, a function uh, f one it's uh, just one function so true for n is one or you may write that f1 is this and then write like this that fx is mx plus c and m1 is f of x so true for n is 1 would be bad. Okay, then as usual, we write assume true for n is k and we rewrite this substituting k for n so it becomes f k of x is m to k times x plus c 1 minus m to k 1 minus m over 1 minus m and then consider n is k plus 1 and we need f k plus 1 of x but f k plus 1 is what it's f of f k of x and our function is what it's mx plus c hence f k plus 1 of x is and uh, the same substituting f k of x for x into m x plus c it becomes m times f k it's this m to the power k times x plus c times 1 minus m to k over 1 minus m and plus c and uh, what do we need actually we need this with uh, n is k plus uh, 1 and let expand and simplify so we get m to k plus 1 times x plus plus m c times 1 minus m to k over 1 minus m plus c and let's uh, factor out c and uh, let uh, rewrite with co uh, common denominator to get m minus m to k plus 1 plus 1 minus m which is m to k plus 1 times x plus c 1 minus m uh, to k plus 1 over 1 minus m and you can see that we get as required this with uh, n is um, k plus 1 so true for n is k plus 1 and conclusion if true for n is k true for n is k plus 1 since true for n is 1 true for any n is positive integer the next consider uh, this where m is uh, in between negative 1 and 1 Question D, as n tends to infinity, the family of graphs f n of x approaches the graph of a straight line L, determines the equation of L, given the answer in terms of C and n. So when n tends to infinity, m to the power of n tends to zero. It's because m 
is in between uh, negative 1 and 1. For example, 0 0.5 uh, uh, to very large power, it's actually 0 or, for example, if you multiply, for example, 0 0.5 you multiply by itself, you can see that the answer always decreases and eventually it tends to zero. And hence fn of x tends to, it's actually a limit when n tends to infinity. So fn of x tends to zero times x plus c times one minus zero over one minus m, which is C over 1 minus m and uh, the required equation of a line is y is c over 1 minus m the next consider the same where m is negative 1 uh, shows that fn is uh, negative x plus c when n is odd so let's rewrite substitute a negative 1 for m negative 1 to n times x plus c times 1 minus negative 1 to n 1 minus negative 1 so over 2 and when n is odd 1 3 5 negative 1 or so on negative 1 to the power of n is negative 1 and hence fn of x becomes negative 1 times x negative x plus c times uh, 2 over 2 so it's negative x plus c as required and when n is even negative 1 to the even power 2, 4 and so on is what it's uh, plus 1 and hence fn of x becomes 1 times x plus c times 1 minus 1 over 2 so it's x and that's all for this question